spring on the cloud. What do we want? We want all the clouds. Well, the original inspiration was for the project was that we'd been doing quite a lot of work using comedy with community groups and we'd also as a company started working with older people and it struck us a great opportunity to put these two strands of work from Women Theatre together and see what happened and the result was absolutely brilliant. Annie said to me that she prefers this pig to the one she married. <laughs> Is that true Annie? That's true. That's true. Why was she always been a pig? Mm -hmm. No good. It was no good. And at the funeral you paid an extra 50p, why? Bit more gas. To make sure it was gas, ladies and I gentlemen. It gone. So I think one of the most memorable moments for me was one of the uh, older women was actually um, involved with amateur dramatics when she was younger. And this is the wonderful Hilda. Tell us a bit about you, because you've got a background of doing drama and doing acting. Oh, I haven't done it for a bit. I'm I'm resting, darling. <laughs> and I think it was really great for her, for her special interest to be brought into the living room and she got real great talent in it. And it enabled her to show what she could do really. I'm Janice Conley and then I get dressed up as Mrs. Barbara Nice. Barbara's in Strides and Nice oh, yeah. in the biscuit. Yeah, okay. yeah, and the yeah. first time with I did that we did our first show, I said to Hilda, uh, what do you think of the way I'm dressed up? Yeah, and yeah. this is what Hilda said. Yeah, from my, yeah. How do you think okay. I look, Hilda? A bit yeah. like a card. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, some residential settings may be concerned that, that relatives will be worried about that their, their loved ones are involved with a comedy course, that there may be going to be figures of fun. But actually, the opposite is the truth. They're elevated, they come back to be the person that they were and they see their dad or their mum or their auntie laughing again like they did when they were at home. Brilliant! Brilliant! That's great! Come on! Aww. You see dad was asleep when I came and I look at him and he's doing my dad and before dance about. I mean, you know, I think it's great. I think what's really special about this project is actually keeping comedy at the heart of it because of course the arts are used with older people, visual arts, uh, music particularly and singing, but there's something particular about laughter and we kept trying to make sure that we concentrated that this was about comedy actually. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your favourite drink at Christmas, Your Highness? Oh, a drop of gin. A drop of gin. Now, your mother before you, of course, we knew as the Queen Mother, she also liked a drop of gin. Would you say it's hereditary? I think it is. A weakness, I must admit, but I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is, wasn't just us coming and keeping people occupied for an hour. At the heart of it was, Let's see how funny we can be together. <laughs> now, what would you say about the bankers this year? The bankers have taken oh, such the lot. <laughs> <laughs> what about your own money? You're one of the richest women in the world. Where, where do you keep your money? Oh, Dr. Wayne, the little bankers in the niggers. <laughs> <laughs> but what we've noticed is people outside the inner circle that's doing the work benefit from what's going on. Either they're laughing or they're tapping their foot to the music that's going on and also because I'm used to performing I know they're watching actually and I make sure I bring them in. I'm destitute and I've got nobody to work on. So if I sing with you, we'll have beds about fish and chips on the nights. Older people in comedy are, are made for each other. In other states, that goes up as well. I think it's must the cook. Well, it's up somebody's bum. <laughs> Uh, I think you for a nose, I should have said there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a comedy genius, and I've met some comedy geniuses in my time. This is definitely one of them. Did they look after you like they would with Kate Middleton? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Ah, good, because she, because she deserves a very... Do you like me and I like, I'm judging her. Oh, give us a nice Christmas song. Do you know the holly and the ivy? When they are both full grown, of all the trees that are in the wood, the holly bears the crown. Hey. <laughs> now, Pet, you're very good at welcoming everybody, so... And when everybody Have you got a dimple in your hand? A dimple in my hand. Oh. You make me weep, girls have been so 
I should be breaking wind out of the cockpit. <laughs> People became more of themselves through laughter and actually related with each other. Sometimes it feels like people are just in their own worlds, but through laughter, people being, noticing who they were sat next to, laughing with people. And people said thanks very much because it's made us really enjoy being together. I think that this is suitable for all settings actually and I know some people might think oh we've got very specialist old people here you know the level of dementia here is really high from what I can see from this kind of pilot we've done comedy can go where water goes which is absolutely everywhere and I think there aren't any settings that can't benefit from bringing laughter into the room bringing comedy into the room and we're really good at noticing what people I've got to offer what people's strengths are and framing that so that people are come out of it feeling more than rather than less than. When we came today, Billy looked fed up. What do you think changed his mood? Oh, he very up and down. And what do you think it did for him getting up and joining in? I, 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 it brought him round. It brought him round? Yeah. It was spontaneous. 44 sat down for dinner. 22 eggs. 22 eggs. Isn't it rich? <laughs> Are we a pair? Bill, 20, uh, 44, 44 sat down to dinner. 44. Sat down to dinner. Oh, I forget that one. You was good at uh, good. Even breast, you know the, the rest. rest. And I know so I better lie on. He thought it rude to play in the new job, he put his old school tie on. <laughs> Just before we got here, tell us what he was like. He was depressed. He needed you, you to bring him out of himself. So from, from a staff point of view, I would hope it's easier to work with people who've been energised and uplifted and put in a good frame of mind. Uh, a lot of the residents that usually don't join in with some of the activities tend to join in with Janice's workshop. I think when, when Janice comes in, she tends to leave just before lunchtime and I think after lunch they're more motivated and they eat better. Janice brings joy and I think she also brings like a little bit of hope, you know. They, they, she definitely brings hope to them. People reported saying how much better they felt through laughing, and we know this ourselves. And that actually be interesting to see how much the drug um, bill could be decreased if laughter was on prescription more often. Really. What do you think is good about doing comedy together? It's spontaneous, and that is brought up by you people coming into the group. You've been really good when you were Connie Christmas. Have you enjoyed being together now? I have, absolutely. I went back to my childhood and happy as a king. King John, could we have a message for Christmas to all the people? Yeah, get out of my way. <laughs> Make you feel halfway. We can do it, can't we, darling? Of course we can. With your heart in your hand, me, I love you. Now, where are the clowns? <laughs> They're all too big, clever. Don't bother. They're here. Right. Older people in comedy are, are made for each other. Love, 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 love